Hey, so welcome back to another drawing video. Today's something more sentimental because it's about my childhood. So apparently the Nick Jr. Um, YouTube channel uploaded something where Steve from Blue's Clues came back. So I wanted to draw something for their 25th anniversary. And here it is, Blue as a anime character. Man, time flies. Time flies. I kind of wanted to go into more of depth. This was the thumbnail of the video that got recommended someone else was um reacting to it i did almost cry <laughs> like this was my childhood crap i loved this show and wonder pets was another one that i liked but uh yeah apparently there was one episode i only saw a clip of it but apparently he left and i guess his brother joe took over but now he's back from college and he was like yeah, sorry I left so abruptly. And my first thought was, bro, life happened. You don't need to apologize. You need to get your education. But, yeah. Crazy. He looks so different. Oh my god, help. Um, Yeah, just, you can look up the username of the reactor, because he put the original video in the description. Or you can just look up Dick Jr., and I'm sure it'll be on there as well. But, oh my god. Nostalgia, man. Nostalgia. I was not expecting this. And actually, turns out, it's kind of ironic. Today, my school aide, like, referenced something for Buzco's, like, for, like, the mailbox guy. I ignore me. It's been, like, a lot of years, so I don't know, like, any character names besides Blue, Magenta, and Steve. <laughs> so ignore me being all, like, what's their name again? But, uh, yeah, she referenced the mailbox, on that he'd always say, and I'm like, wait, what? What's that from? And she told me, Blue's Clues, and then this got recommended to me. So it's kind of ironic, you know? Oh, by the way, just some, I always wanted to mention some fun facts that I didn't know about Blue's Clues, which are things I probably should have known as a child and carried with me, but I didn't. So, first off, since when did the salt and pepper have a child? Yeah. That was a thing that I missed, I guess. I think it was supposed to be, like, Paprika or something. Like, kind of combining the two names. I don't know where Salt comes in in that. Also, I thought they were both male. <laughs> Until I was watching YouTube poop of Blue's Clues. And French accent sounded very feminine with the pepper. And I'm like, hold up! They're a couple? <laughs> I was like, wait, how did I not realize this all this time? But yeah, it's male and female. My bad. And I was also one of the late people to find out very late later on that Blue was a girl and Magenta was a boy. <laughs> how did I not know? I mean, I guess it's kind of confusing because they kind of gender swapped a little bit, I guess. I don't know if that was really what they meant to do. But, uh... <laughs> I'm sorry, Blue. You can be a girl if you want. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, that was just me rambling on about... Oh, man, this unlocked so many memories. I don't remember any episodes in specific, so I won't be naming anything like that. But uh, yeah, if you want to watch, just look up either Driver Joe or just Nick Jr. And you'll see this and oh my god. Man, time. Like I said in the TikTok, time just flies. And my childhood is ruined, sort of. Because now I feel old! But yeah, that's it for me. Happy birthday, Blue, and the Steve, and the entire crew, honest to God. Thank you for talking to inanimate objects for, like, how many years? You made my childhood so much better, so yeah. Shout out. Woo! Bye.